Okay, here we have the Dwarven Forge Cavernous Lake set. As you can see, I've assembled it pretty much as it's shown on the box, so you'll recognize this uh, this layout if you've uh, looked on the internet site and uh, are thinking of buying. So these pieces are different to the uh, passages and caverns and rooms, etc. in that they really do use this clear uh, set per specs extensively. So you really get this fantastically smooth mirror reflective skin of water on top and they're not ripply the ripple effect is underneath so you've got no issue there with having boats sliding across the top of this etc and uh, it's a, a glass like surface let's say uh, quite slippery and uh, certainly figures will ice skate if you're sliding them around obviously that wear wrap doesn't live there okay um, a couple of things to mention about these these pieces um, you really need this set and the I think the river and wall set because it's quite hard to use all the pieces in this set otherwise so you've actually got some very interesting pieces that give you uh, mini island type linky pieces so I'm going to just pull this piece out to show you that as you can see in the corners here you've got two lugs of land that help you uh, create touch points with the flatter ends on either the corners or the flat sides you've got a flat edge and it very much tries to give you a nice roundedness so you can make the uh, the lake flow but it does limit your options you've only got a single open expanse tile um, you could put a little black uh, printed feature of a whirlpool or something so you could certainly uh, add things to this that don't need to be physical you can print things off the internet in images etc um, the versatility of a single set is, is a little bit limited. You can create a 3x4 um, piece, but it's not perfect. You end up having to block and cover some pieces because of these corner lugs that I was explaining to you about. One thing I will say about this set, and it's a little bit of a warning, some of the decorations, although again fantastically detailed, are quite thin and quite fragile. So this is probably the most fragile set Dwarven Forge have ever made. You've actually got lots of these very fine points and uh, I dread to think of a player, a little bit of a clumsy player, who's sweeping his hand across, doesn't realise that actually something's proud and impales his hand or his figure on something that's st standing up um, a good real two centimetres in height. Uh, some of the pieces are even taller. That uh, particular Let's, let's say mineral deposit, uh, this, this stand up point here, I'm going to put a 25mm figure just beside it for scale, it, it's pretty tall so it's, it's really quite proud and you have to package these quite carefully within the box to make sure again that these spires and these tall points aren't being damaged when you put things in the, in the box, obviously a lot of the flatter pieces will just stack back to back in the box and uh, as usual with uh, Dawn Forge, the packaging is fantastic. The uh, polystyrene is designed to last and I've had my sets for many years and use them again and again and again. And uh, with uh, sensible care, they, uh, they look after themselves. You really need to be careful putting these into the exact right places, their exact right squares within the box. Um, I haven't got a great deal of many decorations to add to this. There's nothing else within the set, so they don't get any extra bits, nothing loose to add on anywhere. Like I say, you can suggestions for printing things, adding boats, etc. Um, obviously, characters can walk around the sides, etc. Again, you can have moisture loving plants on the outcrops, etc. Um, lily pad like type things. Um, and I'm going to just add one of my favourites, a fantastic fantasy giant mushroom in the corner just to add a bit of colour and uh, end this video uh, just to quickly mention the, the, uh, it's a, a modern day uh, Dwarven Forge set so there's no bow tie, this never had a bow tie option so uh, this, the size and edges of, of the uh, cabin pieces here um, link up with the uh, old and new in the, in the standard traditions I'm going to quickly bring in a piece from um, a cavernous set so this is just a, a standard square piece with the green slime etc. I'm going to pop that aside here. Slight height difference but nothing significant. And as you can see I've got the bow tie lugs just uh, on the edge here of the of the frame. And as I mentioned before in other videos these bow ties could be cut in half just to fill the gaps here. No issue. And there is a, there is a slight height difference. The water tiles are, the lake tiles are thicker by probably two to three millimeters but it's it's no big deal you really won't notice it unless you're actually running your fingers along to feel and what you'll find is the actual depth where the water is is pretty much the same as 
uh, maybe one or two mil slightly shorter than the normal Dwarven Forge set. So it's a little bit of an in-between uh, size and I'm sure they've done this for durability. These are themselves strong and uh, apart from these uh, decorative spires and mineral deposits and collections etc. They're, uh, they're a very good sturdy piece. Okay, 